and furious rolling thunder. Wow, you've got to be kidding me. Tommy tries to get a super bird soaring at the track. <laughs> While Andy and Chuck... You guys heard look at the 56 Thunderbird, right? That doesn't look like an engine. ...try to put a Thunderbird back together again. Where's this? Looks like you bought me half a car. Go find me a motor. Whoa! Freaking fuel flying everywhere. Going up? That's probably high enough, huh? But once they get these rare birds ready for takeoff... ...it all comes down to how fast they can fly. Did you ever go on your cruise? No, I had to cancel. You like this, don't you, Chuck? Cruises. I was gonna go for the belly flop championship. This is the captain speaking. Uh, Chuck, can you move to the center of the boat? We keep going around in circles. <laughs> oh, you're ballast. <laughs> is rare, but two in my parking lot? I didn't know there was two around like this. Doug, by the way, it's my mother, Carol. Tell me, how you doing? Carol. Carol, pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. L let me collect my thoughts here for a second, <laughs> man. This is unstinking believable. A Daytona and a Superbird? I'm stinking speechless. When I was a little kid, I remember seeing one of these at the racetrack with my dad. It was like spotting a UFO. After that, I haven't seen one since. So this is a real treat. Uh, which one are we working on? Nice shiny blue one right here. The Plymouth Superbird was developed specifically for NASCAR. It's one of the longest race cars ever made, measuring 19 feet in length, with one of the most distinctive body styles ever. It was one of the first American cars ever designed using a wind tunnel and computer analysis for aerodynamics. Did you have you raced it before or what? We belong to a couple different car clubs with these cars, specifically for these cars. Okay. And parents joined before I turned one, so Actually, I've been kind yeah. of a lifetime member. Dad was already in it when we bought the car. How long have you had them? This is a car I've had for about 38 years. I used to take him to preschool in it. You brought him as a baby to this car club yes. in this car? In this car. I definitely Everywhere. grew up with it. All over the country. I definitely grew up with it. All the cars that come into my shop have great stories. And no matter how beat up or how rare, the history behind these cars is what makes them all shine, which is a huge reason why I started this shop. We just love this car. We want to keep it. We want to preserve it. But before we bought it, its motor had been blown. And about 10, 12 years ago, we had it rebuilt, but... It's using too much oil. It's the original motor to the car. Okay. I just, I want to take it out, stick it in the basement. So you're talking a whole new motor? No body work. Yeah. We have to step it up a little bit. There's kind of a rivalry here in Ohio. Yeah, you know, a couple of the guys, I mean, they razz me a little bit. Yeah, so, oh, I bet. Uh, my buddy Ron, he likes to just have that little edge on me. And uh, I really want to take this guy down a ladder full of notches. What do we have to spend on this car? Wanted to keep it around 15. Wow. 15. Depending on how fast you want to go, uh, you're looking right around 30. Even though we're just upgrading the motor and no bodywork, I gotta stay realistic about the price. This is already a fast car, so making it any faster ain't gonna be cheap. I've heard great things about this place. I know you guys can make the cars run, but here's the deal. Get you a 25. This is what I can do for you. If we go 25, and I make this car run faster than your buddy Ron's, you think you can scrounge up another 5,000 somewhere? Yeah, I think so. Just as long as I get to see the look on his face. It, it'll definitely happen. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, I appreciate it, Doug. It's a stinking Superbird. For 25 grand, I should be able to get it flying down the track. And getting that 5K bonus will definitely sweeten the pot.
On the road again there, Chuck. I think I swallowed a bug. <coughs> what? Do you, what? Huh? I think I don't give me bug. anything. I don't want any bugs. I, I've just got a record. Not that kind of bug. Andy and I got a lead on a potential dragster. Everyone and their mother wants a dragster around here. So if this thing's clean, it should be an easy flip. Nice to meet you, Dan. Dan, Andy. Andy, Chuck. nice to meet you. Chuck, Chuck, how Chuck, you doing? Hey. You guys here to look at the 56 Thunderbird, right? Yeah, right back yeah. here. If Dan has his car built right, he's basically taking the style and grace of a 56 Thunderbird and giving it the power of a modern drag car. A Thunderbird Dragster is a total custom built, top to bottom. I've never seen one in person, so I can't wait to see what Dan's put together. That doesn't look like an engine. No, it doesn't look yeah. like there is anything there. So where's everything at? Dan, there's nothing here, man. Look. Well, I got, I, it's all here. I got the whole car. Really? Yep. I don't see the whole car. I got all the parts. So uh, what I have here is a puzzle with no engine. Don't get me wrong, but this car definitely has potential. Turning a 56 Thunderbird into a dragster will definitely attract a buyer with deep pockets. But without a motor and the possibility that he's missing body parts, this is going to be a big project. So you were building this for somebody, you said? Yeah, we're building for a customer, but apparently he ran out of money. I don't know what the deal was, but he never came back. The car's mine. But you can wow. see in here, I mean, she's ready to go inside. It's pretty solid. Yeah, it's a nice car. Wow, you got the gauges set up. Did a lot of work. This is all new. Everything was done new. <clears throat> there ain't no used parts on her. It's wired for nitrous? Yes, sir. I mean, I can see some potential here. There's a lot of stuff missing. Got the quick change rear end. I mean, there ain't, there ain't no junk parts on this thing. What kind of money are you asking for this puzzle? Well, I want to get my money back out of it. Mm -hmm. I got 22 in it the way she sits. That's a bit high. Yeah, it's a nice car. How about if I go to 11.5? Cash. 11.5? I'll tell you what, this old chromoly chassis, mm -hmm. I got 10.5 in the frame kit. Give me 20, you guys can get her out of here. 20. Come down a little bit. 18. 17,000, boom, done. Cash, and we all walk away, we get this into our truck and take it out of your garage. Well, I do need the room. Mm hmm So, I think we got us a deal, fellas. All right, got a deal. Appreciate it. Go out to the truck. We're going to load up. Hey, yeah, yeah. sir. Yeah. After seeing all the body parts accounted for, 17K for this car is a great deal. We can sell a dresser like this for 40 to 50 grand. Man, I can't wait to get this motor in this thing, man. It's going to be sweet. Yeah, it is. You have to be very, very careful with this thing. You got it, buddy. Go ahead, Jack. You can go ahead and jack up the chain. We got to get the motor out of this Superbird to make room for a newer, faster 440. We got these uh, brake lines right here. We got to be careful. Uh, Pull it over this way, then? Well, yeah, as soon as it comes out of the motor mouth. All right. Got it. We got to be super careful because we can't afford no damage to the body. There's only about a thousand of these cars in circulation, and they're worth about 150 grand. You okay over there? Yes, sir. So even the tiniest scratch or blemish is going to cost us thousands of dollars in bodywork. That's one heavy pig. Good job, brother man. Get away from the car just a little bit more. You got it. Whatever you want, Bob. Make me nervous. Me, you're pushing me. Well, I hate it when you do stuff like that. I know this 56 Thunderbird's in pieces, but with the right motor, any Ford Thunderbird fanatic will pay top dollar to have this car in their garage. <sighs> what is this? 56 Thunderbird Dragster. Um, looks like you bought me half a car. I tried to tell him. How much of my money did you spend on this thing? Only 17000 
17,000. Handmade chassis. This is a certified chassis robot. Everything is certified. 17,000, brother. Uh, are you serious? A certified chassis is not going to get me anything. No, but the engine in here. An engine in here. Uh, Andy, you take a look. There's yeah. no engine in here. If they already spent 17 grand on this car, the only way we're going to make money is if we put a cap on the budget. Here's the deal. You already spent 17 grand. You only get 17 more. Fine. We get a big block Ford in here, which it'll handle. It'll be an eight-second car down a strip. We'll make some money. You'll make money on this. There's no doubt about it. Go find me a motor. I need a motor for this car. I don't even want to look at this thing again until it's up and running. Coming up. We need some horsepower, but we need a big block Ford. That's perfect. Well, I don't even know if I want to get rid of it. got an engine for us. Yeah, if we get the horsepower for this thing, Tommy, he'll be happy. Make some cash and get on with it. We're on a mission to find a big block Ford engine for this dragster chassis we have at the shop. This chassis looks like on the scrap metal right now. But when we're done, it'll be completed 56 Thunderbird dragster. We're in the hole $17,000. And Tommy's only giving us another 17 to get the rest of the car finished. But if this build is successful, we will definitely recoup our cost. Nilo, what's up? Hey, guys, how's it going? You look like you're busy, huh? Yeah. Oh, you know, always, man. Our buddy, Neil, he's been building custom engines out of his garage for years. He's basically a backyard mechanic that could hook you up with the baddest, most souped-up engines around. Well, can you help us out? Yeah, what's, what's up? I have this, uh... Thunderbird chassis racer. We'll put it together. We need some horsepower, but we need a big block for it. Mm -hmm. Uh, this one here. You guys are interested? It's a uh, stroked out 460. It's 557 <laughs> cubic inches. That's perfect. It's a uh, 14 to one compression. So I got to run race fuel. It's got a Cali's crank, manly rods, Aries pistons, SVO heads. I got 1150 Dominator for it. It's just a beast. Dude, that's what we need. I've had it for, geez, almost 20 years now. So uh, I really don't know if I want to get rid of it, though. Neil's just like every other backyard mechanic I know. He gets working on a project, he gets attached to it, and he won't let it go. But we gotta have this motor. It's a big block, it's stroked out, it's perfect for a T-bird. I don't know. I've had this thing forever. I don't even know if I want to get rid of it. Yeah, I've been in that situation, but I find it best to let things go. How about 11000 bucks? I got more than that in it. Yeah, but it's also been sitting for 20 years. 10 more years, we're going to come back here. It's going to be sitting right here. Yeah. Okay, well, I kind of had plans for it, though. <sighs> 13000 I'll do fourteen. Mm. I'll do 13,500. You guys are killing me. You got cash. You're killing me. 13,500 bucks. Yeah, I can do that. Thank you. Yep. Between the motor and the chassis, we're in for about 30 grand already. I'll help you guys load it up. <laughs> you want to bring the truck around? Luckily, all we needed was a motor. So once we pop it in, make a few tweaks, the T Bird should be ready to fly. I knew you would save us. Yeah. <laughs> Heads. Is that beautiful? Yes, it is. We got a rare 1970 Plymouth Superbird in the shop that we're beefing up for an upcoming race between our client and his car club rival. These cars are worth $150,000 and up. Since the car is so expensive, we're only swapping out the motor because any accidental damage to the body or interior can cost me thousands of dollars to repair. <laughs> the thing's going to go, man. This bird's going to fly, man. It's going to fly. This new upgraded 440 that we're swapping out